Oklahoma Guitar Story began at Saul Bentman's Music in 1974 when I was 16 years old. My pals and I would often drive to Bentman's to check out the used guitars that they had. Vintage guitar shops didn't really exist back then, but Bentman's always had a lot of used gear. The store was actually a funky old house converted into a music shop on Larchmont Street in the heart of Hollywood. The store had many rooms to roam through. It was a fun place for sure. On one of my visits, I noticed this 1959 Stratocaster hiding in the corner. The original finish was stripped off, and the pickups weren't original either. They were selling them pretty cheap back then. So I managed to round up the funds and bought it a few days later. I instantly had a good feeling about the guitar when I brought it home. And since the guitar had already been modified, I felt it was all right to modify it even more. And I certainly did so many times over the years different pickups, bridges, and even different necks. Really, the only thing that stayed constant throughout the years on that guitar was that resonant 59 body. This latest incarnation of the Coma guitar has lasted a few years now, and in many respects, it's come full circle back to the way it was in the 80s, but with some modern updates. I've used this latest version on many recordings and many live shows. I think it's safe to say that I'm done torturing this guitar for now. Famous last words. The 80s were the days of rock stars with one name. Bono, Sting, Prince, Lee. I admired all of them, so during a fun night of debauchery with my pals in the late 80s, I decided that I too should have a one-word name. In a flash of alcohol-induced inspiration, the name Coma magically appeared to me. That's it, I thought. From now on, I will simply be known as Coma. My friends laughed it off, told me to shut up, and we continued the party. But as soon as I wrote it on that red stained 59 Strat, that guitar became the Coma guitar forever. I'll be drawing the Coma graphic on each one of these guitars. It's a nice way to pass the torch, so to speak, to the new owner and its new home. I'm happy to say that master builder Todd Krauss will be making all of these custom shop replicas. This is the first time we'll be working together, but I love his philosophy on guitar making. The original Coma is a 1959 body, and I know that Todd is a fan of these late 50s Fenders. The Coma guitar has been with me for the majority of my life. This is why it's such a personal guitar of mine. And with these custom shop replicas, it's like it'll have a family of offspring. Fender guitars are definitely in my DNA at this point. And since I don't have any offspring of my own, these fine Fender guitars help to fill that void.